you might have read something like, well, the means by which the protected resource discovers the location of some endpoints, or in that example, the introspection endpoint, are outside the scope of this specification. So in most of the specifications, it is just assumed that you as a client know where the specific endpoint is, like where the introspection endpoint is, where the token endpoint is, where the dynamic client registration endpoint is, and so on and so on. And uh, the question is, well, how do you know that? And the answer is very simple. The answer is RFC 8414, which is the authorization server metadata. And it's actually very simple. So instead of hard coding something in the client or instead of configuring something with environment variables, um, the authorization server provides an endpoint which returns the authorization server's metadata. So that means the URL for wh where you can do like token introspections, which grant types are supported, which response types are supported, and so on. There's like a hell of a lot of um, like properties that it returns. And with that, the client can basically dynamically configure itself by just calling this one particular endpoint. Now, the question obviously is, well, how do we actually know uh, where this metadata endpoint is, right? Because if I don't know where it is, well, then this is another configuration I have to do. Well, and the solution here is the well-known URIs. So this is something we have covered in a previous video. So what has been done is uh, there's a concept called well-known URIs, which is if the path of your URI, if the path component of UI starts with slash dot well-known slash, and it's also supported, uh, and the scheme is also supported, then it is a well-known URI, and there is a registry for well-known URIs where specific metadata is served from. And what this uh, specification says is, okay, all metadata for all uh, authorization servers are served from this, from a well-known URI, and the well-known URI we're going to use is OAuth-Authorization-Server. And this is also registered in this uh, yeah, global registry. So this is like IANA. It's like some global registry, like where these things are registered among like other things. And uh, yeah, here you can see that basically this OAuth authorization server has been registered by this particular RFC. And the interesting thing is that now, no matter what authorization server you pick, you always know, or the client always knows that under this particular URI, uh, I'm going to find the metadata for this particular authorization server, and then I can just dynamically configure myself. So I don't need to have a hell of a lot of environment uh, variables. In fact, I don't need any of them uh, because I know like where the path is. The only thing I need to know is obviously the part before that. So like the, the protocol, which has to be HTTPS, but also like the host name. So this is the only thing that this client needs to know. So which server to hit, but the path itself is already uh, configured. Yeah, one more thing I wanted to mention, there's something called signed metadata. So when you hit this endpoint, it returns you like a normal JSON uh, response, but it also supports the notion of returning like a JSON web signature token. In this field, it's called signed metadata. And this is of course very handy because if like all of these things are signed and the client has like the public key, it can verify, ah yeah, okay, this is indeed the public key of the authorization server. Um, cool, okay, so now I know that these things are actually real, it's confirmed, uh, and I don't use some wrong endpoint by accident, right? Because this might also be a potential attack vector. So this here is like optional, but of course, if it's like there, then it should take precedence over uh, all the other fields that are sent here. And basically in this JSON web token, in this JSON web signature token, like all these uh, fields here are added as custom claims. So if you're not sure what a JSON web signature token is, make sure to check out like my videos on uh, JSON web tokens where I explain like what they are and what the difference between JSON web encryption token is and so on and so on. Cool. Yeah, so that's it pretty much for this authorization server metadata endpoint. Uh, check out RSC 8414. It's a really nice read. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.